Praise the Lord. Is it possible to trust God again? Amen. It is possible to trust God again. It really doesn't even really matter. Because as long as you are alive and he is God, he will continue to be God. And he has invited every single one of us to trust him. Thank you so much for that word, Pastor Lumide. Let's give a clap offering to the Lord Almighty. I can see that some of you are not clapping and I don't know why you're not clapping. Some people are looking for hands to clap. And you have your hands together. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Enough word for this week for the rest of us. It's time for our Titan offering. Another way that we can trust God. Because the word of God says, prove me here with. See if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. A blessing that you do not have enough room to contain. Malachi 3.10 for those of us who want to give our tithe, it's 10% of your income. I would like you to please rise at this time. If you're giving a check, please write the check payable to Jesus House DC. For those who want to text, you have it activated. But if not, the number is going to come on the screen. Every time when it comes to offering and tithe, I, I thank God for the opportunity to be able to give. Because there's a source. And the real source is from the Lord God Almighty who sits in heaven. And everything on earth belongs to him. But I also know that there are some people who do not have a source physically. But it needs to register in their heart that God is the one who is your true source. You're standing up in obedience to bring back 10% of what he has blessed you with. I want you to wave that sight before God. I want you to wave it before God right now and say, Father, Lord, this is an obedience to your word because you've asked me to do it and I trust your word. But I also know there are some people here, like I said earlier, who do not have a physical source, i.e. source of income, but you still believe that you will give your tithe when the time comes. The time is now. I want you to hold your faith with these ones that are standing and say, Father, Lord, just like they have given, they are given, I want to be able to give it's in my heart to give genuinely. Pray that prayer. For those who want to give their offering, please rise. Rise at this time. The offering is a free will gift. You can decide how much you want to give. Amen? God will teach us how to give. He will prove to us that he's God all by himself. I really would encourage every one of us to rise if you can. And you're rising because you're going to take position at the place where God has originally ordained for you. You're already in the presence of God. And in the presence of God, there is abundance. You no longer eat the crumbs for the master's table. I want you to make a covenant demand. Ask the Lord that because you are coming with your tithe, you're coming with your offering, that he himself who have said that you should prove him, will indeed prove himself in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. If you do not have a job, I want you to also agree in faith and say, Jehovah, it is in my heart's desire to bring to your throne of grace, your throne of mercy, my tithe and my offering. Father, make a way for me. Make a way for me. Because he is the one who makes a way where there seems to be no way. Because I trust you, God. Our Father and our God, we thank you. Thank you for every son, every daughter of yours who has gotten up this afternoon, oh God. For those who are online, who are willing to give, I want you to also know that God respects your offering and he respects your tithe. I ask Father Lord Almighty that as they've lifted up their offering and their tithe before you, that you breathe upon it. And so the Lord will bless you beyond your me the measures that you even imagine. The Lord Almighty who has the heavens and the earth and the fullness thereof, he says, come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That you are giving your tithes and you're giving your offering or you're sowing a seed this afternoon. Whether you're online or you're physically here. The Lord is saying to you, I will give you rest. Rest from all sides. I don't know what it is that you desire of the Lord. But the Lord is saying to you, my promises are amen. And in him it is yea. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless you. Thank you, Lord Almighty, for all this that have been lifted up to you. Father, may this be used, oh God, for the expansion of your work here on earth. 
Thank you for such an awesome opportunity to be able to be the ones to give. Lord, for those who do not have a source of income, oh God Almighty, we ask, oh God, open doors for them. Open doors as only you can. And at the end of the day, oh God Almighty, we will rejoice and know that indeed you are the Lord who have provided for us. God will bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I want you to rejoice as you give in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. this place. Amen. Amen. I want to celebrate those. If there is anyone, today is your first time at Jesus House, they say. We want to celebrate you. We want to tell you. We want to welcome you. If you are here today, is your first time. Can you please wave back? Hey, my brother, good to see you. God bless you, sir. Thank you so very much. Welcome to our church. We want to receive you and tell you more about the church. And hopefully we will see you next week. Amen. Let's celebrate him. Let's celebrate him. Thank you so much, my brother. Good to see you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My sister, welcome to you. God bless you, ma'am. Good to see you. Don't stop clapping. Let's celebrate her. Let's celebrate her. Amen and amen and amen. Good to see you, ma'am. Praise the Lord. I want us to rise and close this service. Did you receive anything today? I don't know about you. Me, I downloaded. <laughs> I downloaded from the throne of grace. I just know I have to trust God more. 
I just know. Um, I can't do it by myself. I know I have to walk the walk of faith. There are times that it can be very, very dizzy, unclear. But if I believe, I'll get there. If you believe, you will get there as well. I want you to thank God for the word that you've had today. Celebrate him. Honor him. Tell him thank you. Tell him to give you the grace, the ability to trust him the more. There are things, challenges that I want to take you, make you less trusting of him. But tell him to keep you. Tell him to strengthen you from the inside. Your desire is to trust him. Your desire is to believe in him. He is faithful. He is believable. He's your unchanging changer. There is nothing he cannot do. It says with our God, nothing shall be impossible for him. But ask him to give you the grace to trust him, to release it all unto him. This week, commit unto God's hand that it will be a good week unto you. You will go out well, you will come back well. Nothing will go wrong with anything. His protection will be assured upon you. Commit this week unto his hand. Upon you, upon your wife, upon your marriage, upon your children, everything will fall into good places for you in the name of Jesus. Father, we honor you. Lord, we give you praise. Who else but you, King of Glory? You are the one who sees everything. You dwell it upon, upon your throne in the heaven. And the Bible says you make the earth your footstool. That's how big you are, the almighty God, the all-knowing God, the all-powerful living God. Father, we adore you. Glory be to your name for the words that you have given us today. Lord, we ask for strength. We ask for grace, even to trust you with everything that has to do with our lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we yield it unto your hand, O oh God, use it to glorify your name upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, this week we lay it completely unto your hand. Let it be well with us in all that we shall do, O oh God, upon our career, upon our businesses, upon our families, upon our marriages, upon our children. Let us celebrate you, O oh God. We thank you and we honor you. Lord, as we go, let your presence go with us. Let us be able to tell people of a great God that you are because of the things that you have done for us. We celebrate you, my Father. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be upon us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Happy Sunday. God bless you. God bless you real good. Enjoy the Lord. Amen. Amen.